All right, everybody, Alan Wade here with AW Productions. What we're gonna do today, well tonight, is we're gonna create a quick tutorial on um, Adobe After Effects Light and Shadow. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to uh, cast shadows creating um, with, with objects or, or in this case, text. Um, I'm gonna make you, let you understand that you for, must first need, you first need a background, and then you need an object or in this case, text and you need a light. You need three things. Background, uh, the object you want to cast shadows on, and you need a light to create the, the light source to hit that object, and that object is going to be reflected on that background. All right, so first you want to open up Adobe After Effects, and after you open up Adobe After Effects, uh, the first thing you always want to do is create a new composition. Create a new composition, we're going to call this composition lights. Lights and shadows okay oh, well we only need um five seconds all right so um this right here is your new composition this is not actually um an asset so this black box right here is nothing it's just open space think of it as this this is open space there's nothing here until you put something there all right so let's put something there we're going to um, go Layer, New, and we're going to create a solid. A solid is going to be act as our background. Make that comp size, that solid, um, which white. I'm going to make it white. Okay, white solid. Let's change the name of that. Just click on there to make sure it's highlighted. Click Return or Enter. And then we're going to call this Background. That's going to be our background. That's oh, not how you spell that. Back. Background. It's our background layer. So now that we have a background layer, let's add some text. That's our first asset, our background layer. Now we're going to add some text. So let's uh, say a uh, dub productions. Okay. That is our text layer. That's the layer that we are going to cast shadows on. Now, what we have right here is two flat layers, two layers laying on top of each other. And you cannot cast shadows against two things that are pressed up into each other. You have to create an open space in between. So that thing you're trying to project the shadow off of, um, well, in our case, the text layer has to be separated from the background layer. So what we're going to do is we're going to make both layers 3D. So we just made our text layer 3D by hitting that square. Now we're going to make our background layer 3D also. And just, just check that to show you what I'm talking about. Um, we're going to change it from active camera view to the top of the, uh, of the layers. Now you can see both layers are flat against each other, like I said. So you're going to um, you know, make sure the text layer is highlighted. And in Z space, you're going to move the text layer forward. Okay, so now you see we have space between the background layer, which is right here, and the text layer. Click on the background layer, and you can see that that layer in the background, in the back, is the background layer. See? Move that in Z space the same way we move our text layer. So our text layer should be in front of the uh, background layer now. So let's toggle back to active camera, and we're going to see what we have. This is what we have. So the next step, you need three things. You need a background. You need a object, which is our text, and you need a light. So let's go to Layer, New, and Create a Light. Now I'm Spotlight. Always want to make sure Cast Shadows is on when you're trying to do this, because it's not going to cast any shadows if Cast Shadows is on. If it isn't on, rather. So you Cast Shadows, press OK. Now immediately you're going to see, OK, now we have um, um, what a light, and what isn't what the light isn't on, um, you can't see. And what the light is on, you can see. See? All right, so what we're going to do now, my computer's kind of acting kind of slow right now. i got to erase some stuff. What we're going to do now is we're going to go to the light layer because this doesn't look like it's too sharp. The edges of the cone is too sharp. So we're going to um, toggle the options down in the light layer. We're going to go to light options, and you're going to go to cone feather. You're going to feather out this cone a little bit to make it look a little more realistic. You see? Now you get a little little haze effect right there. 
that looks a little more realistic right there. So um, you got that down. Um, the second thing that you want to do is you want to go to our text layer or the the layer that you um, the of the object that you're trying to uh, cast the shadows off of. So material options, which is our text layer. So you go to text layer, you toggle down material option, and then you want to um, make that layer accept shadows. So where it says cast shadows, you want to turn that on. Okay. Now when you turn that on, now you see our shadows. Um, and that's basically how you do it. See, um, you have the uh, shadows in the background, um, shadows of what we, um, of the, our text layer on that background. Now it looks kind of crappy, but that's basically all you need to do. To, uh, to do it. You guys can play around with the options and you know do some cool things with that but I just wanted to show you how to use this tool in um, Adobe After Effects. You move it from side to side and um, you can see that the Adub Productions is in fact um, shining against the wall. Z space moves your light further back alright and uh, or in this, I just moved it forward. So um, Z moves it further back when you go up like this, and the uh, X axis moves it from right to left. All right, and the Y axis um, moves your uh, thing, your light up and down. All right. So there you have it. I hope this was helpful. Light and shadow in Adobe After Effects. Real quick tutorial. Um, it's a real powerful tool. Use it. Um, so you can um, import images. You can import like a uh, cell phone in this case or a remote control. I don't know, whatever hell, your logo. As long as your logo is transparent, it has um, it has a um, transparency, which means um, it doesn't, you, you import that and it's just your logo. It's not the background that's included. You could do that in Photoshop. I have a, um, a tutorial, as a matter of fact, that I made with the puppets that I show you how to import a picture or something into um, Photoshop and take the background off. So check that out and you can do that to your logo and import that um, that file into Adobe After Effects and cast shadows against it. And Pretty cool. Alright, hope this was helpful. Guys, have a good night. It's uh, 1 19 a.m. where I'm at. Just wanted to make this uh, quick tutorial for you guys. Adobe After Effects casting shadows. adubproductions.com once again, um, purchase my album on iTunes now. It's called Rocking with the Best. Hey, I hope this is helpful to somebody. Like, subscribe, and leave comments. All right, have a good night. Bye.